Hello, thank you for joining me. Just arrived at Beaconsfield Railway Station and today we're doing the fourth railway in our series of visiting every miniature railway in Britain. So, just left the railway station and we've got a little walk now. You can see it says, Model Village via footpath at top of path, continue left and left again. So, that's where we're going. We're going to Beaconscott Model Village. Now, this is a place that has featured quite a lot on Henry's Adventures. Another sign there, it's Beckham's Cot Model Village. It's featured quite a lot on Henry's Adventures, more so on the Model Village itself, but today we're going there to do the Miniature Railway. So we're just walking up from Beaconsfield Railway Station in Beaconsfield Newtown. This is the Chiltern Main Line out of London Marylebone. Now this section of line is fairly recent in railway terms. It only opened in 1906. It was known as the final link. There was already a railway at High Wycombe, mm -hmm. which came up from Maidenhead. That section is still open as far as Bourne End mm -hmm. with a branch to Marlow. And then unfortunately they closed the section up to High Wycombe. So this section was open about a mile south of the town, or a mile north actually, of the town of Beaconsfield. So this is what is now known as Beaconsfield Newtown. So I've kind of gone the other way, instead of walking towards the town centre, I've followed the path up to this residential area. So before the railway, all of this would have just been fields, and they put the railway station on the road, which runs from Beaconsfield to Penn. And um, this area grew up around it. There's another sign, Model Village. So Beaconscott Model Village first opened in 1929, so it's now 90 years old. It had been gradually developing in the 1920s when Ronan Cunningham had some land. He had a swimming pool with a model railway around the swimming pool which had outgrown his house and then a few buildings started to appear around it and then the swimming pool became a lake and the model village opened to the public as Beaconscott Model Village and then in 2001 the Beaconscott Light Railway was added, which has grown a couple of times, had a few extensions since it opened, so we'll go and have a look at all of that as well. But we will take a trip on it, and I'll show you, tell you a bit of the history, as it's fairly recent history, of the Beaconscott Light Railway. So we've now come onto St Michael's Green, because I've called that after St Michael's Church, so that is like the Anglican Parish Church for Beaconsfield, Newtown, there is another Anglican church up at the old town. So you've got this lovely green area. The model village is just behind those houses over there. So we're almost there. So you can see just how easy it is to get to by train in that we'll do the whole we're doing the whole walk from the railway station up to the model village. The church is open. I have been in there before, so I won't go in there today, but it's, it's a pleasant church, so if you w wish to, do go and have a look. So we've almost arrived. This is Warwick Road, We're just coming up to the model village. So the plan today really is to have a ride on it. I'm going to tell you a bit of the history. I'll show you how the railway has extended over the years. We will feature the model village just a little bit, but I have done all that before, so perhaps after I've had a ride on the train, I'll just walk into the village and show you what's there. If you want to see where I explored the whole village, then you need to see some of my earlier videos. If you come by car, you can see there's a sign, and you'll park behind St. Teresa's Church. That's the Catholic Church of Beaconsfield, which there's a model of inside the model village. So we are very nearly there now. So the town centre is that way. As you see, it says Welcome to Beckham's Cot. And here it is, Beckham's Cot Model Village. So let's go inside and um, we shall have a ride on the Beckham's Cot Light Railway. So you approach the village by walking up this narrow path between the houses. It feels a bit when you get here, you think, well, where is the village? But you should soon see. We get to here. Welcome to Beckham's Cot with a Mark 1 carriage. That's where you pay to get in. So I'm going to go pay to get in and I'll see you inside. So I've just paid to come in. I have bought my ticket to go on the Beckham's Cot Light Railway. So this is the Mark 1 carriage 
and the railway station is just here. So we just got to wait for the train. I like this sign that shows a picture of their diesel loco. It looks like the train isn't here yet. So what we'll do, we'll just have a little look around here. So as I said, this is the current railway station. But if you look around here, the railway exits the station, goes off up in that direction. But this here, this is a disused station. This is the original railway station. And the evidence of that is, as you can see, there is still a small section of turntable remaining. It's now kind of become the yard. You can see some of their spare carriages. There's an electric locomotive just here called Bouncer. I can hear the train, so the train must be due back soon. It's also quite cool. It's all nicely fully signaled. So you've got some nice little semaphore signals and they've also got some X colour light signals. I believe some of them came from the Brighton line and some came from Sonning Cutting. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to queue up over there and um, I'm going to wait for the train to arrive and we're going to have our train ride. It says entrance to railway. So just go up here. You can also see their rather unusual turntable which has points on the turntable and I think that might be the train. Yeah, here it comes. It's a tram like the train. So once he's ready, I'm going to jump on and um, we shall have the ride. So here we go. Well, it was a very enjoyable trip on the Beckenscott Light Railway behind their tram. Now, they've just said we can have a quick look in the engine shed, because in the engine shed are two things. There's the locomotive, which isn't out today, this diesel here called 
Duda, that's the one which featured on the sign I pointed out. So this is used on their busy days. The other thing which is really cool is this painting of a tunnel. I particularly like the painting, there's a reason why, because it was actually painted by my sister, believe it or not. This is my sister's artwork, so I'm sure you agree with me, she's done a fantastic job. And a lot of people, when they see from over there, genuinely do think it's a tunnel and sometimes ask why they don't take people that way. So yeah, this is uh, my sister's artwork at the Beckham's Court right away. So following our visit to the shed, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was you may have noticed as we went round there was a couple of two foot gauge wagons. That's because there was originally a railway here when they constructed Beckham's Court and it approximately ran up here. It was two foot gauge and they think that the wagons would have been put, just pushed by hand. There was no locomotive and um, they would have run up and down to bring spoil in and out of the village. Now the other thing I've been given permission to do is to see a more recent disused railway. Now, the miniature railway goes round up here, there's these level crossing gates, and it says staff only. They've given me permission to come through here, and we're going to walk on possibly one of the shortest disused railways ever, and that is just here. See that path? Because when the railway first opened, it came up here, as it does now, it went up there, and it went around, and it came across here where this path is, it took a bit of track up there and went round again and there used to be a race course here. The race course has now moved to the other side of Beckham's Top Model Village and a boating lake has been created. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to walk along this very short section of disused railway. Obviously a more modern bridge has been put in because that's quite a steep gradient and there's the famous Beckham's Cop stroke Hollywood sign. So this is the boating lake and then the railway would have when it got to the end of this path it would have rejoined the trap beds there so all of what you see there is the newer part of the railway so we have just walked on what must be the shortest disused railway footpath there is and we're now going to walk back and we'll go and have a quick look in the village so i have already been here before i did a series once before on beckenscott in about six parts where we explored the whole of the model village. So I'm not going to do too much now, but as soon as we're here, let's just go and see the Gauge 1 Railway quickly. We'll finish up there, because that's more what Beckham's quite is famous for. The miniature railway is great, but this is what most people, when they think of Beckham's Court, think of the model village. A lot of people actually come and say, oh, I didn't know there was a miniature railway here. So um, we're going to go up here. And I think I have just noticed something, a new building that wasn't here when I last visited, so we might just have to go and feature that. So get to here, here is the Gauge 1 model railway. Now, you may recognise that station, Green Haley. That's because it is a model of Beaconsfield Station where we started. So we started at Beaconsfield Station, the full-size version, and here we are at the, um, at the miniature or the model version. So let's just see how oh, it's trick. It's nice to see a nice good train going around. Another building that wasn't here when we originally came was this building here. This is the brush factory. I believe it's modelled on a brush factory in King's Langley. So I think that's a really nice model they've got here with an industrial scene by the Gauge 1 model railway. What I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around to the other side so we can see the other side of it. This is Beckham's Cot Town which features, all of this features apart from the new buildings in the original Beckham's Cot series. Train, might be a train coming in a minute. So here is the other side of the brush factory. It's a really nice model. Nice to see a big tall chimney and then you've got the whole of Beckenscott behind. So that is the brush factory. Now the one other thing I want to, before we finish, I'm gonna now go the wrong way around. There was a building, this is the zoo, Chessnade Zoo, a mixture of Chessington Zoo and Whipsnade Zoo. Incidentally, Whipsnade won't feature on the miniature railway Britain series because it's a narrow gauge railway, and nor Chessington because it no longer has a railway, which is a real shame. 
So we just go around here. So we were up there. I want to go and look at the one last other new building, and then I think um, it'll be time to go back to the railway station. So just come up here. This would have featured in the last video, the church army. But it looks like here we have an old remains of an old mine. You can see there's a little ruin. A small ruin there. There's the um, remains of like a bit of gear. And there's even an abandoned bit of railway line going into the mine itself. So yeah, that is the mine. Let's just, before we finish this video, there's the circus by the way. Let's just see one more train on the gauge one. Um, which we should see a train come round here past the windmill very soon because they run very regularly. It's probably one of the busiest railways anywhere, certainly one of the busiest model railways. We'll see a train pass, I think I can hear one, and then um, it'll be time to end our visit to Beckenscott. Incidentally, while I wait for the train, you can just see the freshing machine on the farm and the windmill turning. If I pan the camera around this way, you see the fairground. And there it is, there's GK Chesterton, fresh from Overpool. So I'm going to head back to the railway station now, the full-size railway station. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.